Empty follicle syndrome is a problem that is encountered with patients who are undergoing IVF cycles, means infertility treatment. So what happens in empty follicle syndrome? Basically, the first thing that happens when you start getting your ovulation induction protocols, the ovulation induction is happening, the doctor is doing the scans, the follicles are being seen, but the E2 levels are not rising as it should rise. This can happen in patient with low AMH or in normal patients also. So when we do the E2 levels, it, if it does not reach the cutoff, then we don't do the ovum pickups. So that is, these patients are like, they are just recruited out of the cycle before the ovum pickups is done. But the most painful thing comes for those patients whose ovum pickups has been done, but no follicles were retrieved. So in this cases, what happens, the follicle are being seen, they are very nice follicles. The E2 levels are also good, but when you drain the follicular fluid, the embryologist is not ready to see, not able to see any oocytes. So what happens, either the egg quality is very bad for them, they should not go for any more retrievals, or they can try max to max one retrieval with a different protocol with different triggers. Third thing what happens is that the trigger has not been taken by the patient properly. It, the full trigger amount was not taken. It was not taken on time. This is also one of the causes of empty follicle syndrome. Fourth thing comes requiring the IVF lab. Fourth problem comes. In the IVF lab, maybe the embryologist has not been able to screen the oocytes properly or the doctor has not been able to drain the follicular fluid properly. This also happens in some cases, but it is very rare, but it might also happen. This information is being given to you because it is very essential that whenever you undergo an IVF cycle, you should know about all the pros and cons of it. We are giving you this information because of that. Please be with us. We care about you.